the second floor podcast and guess what we well i am back hold on one sec dude dude what <laughs> what are you doing here what am i doing here this is this is the studio what are you doing here dude i was gonna come in here and film but <laughs> what are you what are you what are you doing it looks like you're starting the plot again or what yeah what you feeling nostalgic or what well i am man i mean I'm not going to lie to you when I say that I really miss what we did. And I figured like, man, I was like, if you're too busy out here trying to film all these entrepreneurs out here, building up cute films, I'm going to just build back what we started with second floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I miss it too, to be honest. Yeah. It was a lot of, a lot of good memories with the, with the second floor, man. So dude, so much. I felt like if I never, if we never did what we did, I wouldn't have pivoted to what I'd love doing now after seeing how so many people actually make a living put food on the table and do what they love to do yeah from that yeah you know it's like all of them just took something they were really good at and put their blood sweat and tears into it and are reaping all the benefits from doing so without looking back Mm -hmm. and then i see what you're doing through film and i was like hey i tried to call you a few times man you were too busy to answer my phone that's why i'm here on my own yeah yeah word yeah no i apologize man just full-on entrepreneur mode man it's been uh it's been fun but uh yeah you took the jump man after all those conversations you're out here running your own business now shooting films for people you know putting the spotlight on others what's that like it's it's crazy man you know just like building a team and really taking forth like fully the business i think now i can relate a lot more to the guests that come on who run their own businesses and i can totally relate with how chaotic it is especially with covid going on especially with you know everything that's just happening i think it's it's been interesting it's been a roller coaster just feeling you know all the ups and downs with business but i love it i can't lie like i'm in the i'm in the industry that i want to be in and I, i i'm just taking the punches man yeah. So, so what are we doing? Are we starting? Are we bringing on season two or what? I don't know, man. You kind of just came at the perfect moment. I feel like, <laughs> listen, I know, like you, you came right here on the scene. If I, if I would ask you right now that you have to do this, you have to commit, man. Like we're, we're going full fledged. The way we put in that work last season, yeah. we're just gonna be doing it all over again. But this time, there's just one difference, man. I understand we're gonna be bringing people on, but now we're bringing people on strictly in the same passion that we have. Like, I was thinking, man, if I was going to do this, I mean, sure enough, like, please, this won't be the same without you. You need to be here. Yeah. I'm thinking, like, with everything I've got going on with fitness, every single guest I bring on on the pod is going to be strictly health and fitness based. They're going to have a passion for surviving. They're going to have a passion for living longer. They're going to have a passion for actually giving tactical advice on how people can optimize their performance physically, spiritually, mentally, mentally. Like, that's what I'm all about now. Mm. So, I mean, you tell me, where does, where does Cassius and Q Films fit in that? I think I'm going to be taking more of the life and the business side. So, how to thrive in life and business. Hey. And I think that'll balance us out. Because I think if we just did health, I think the second floor wouldn't really be the second floor without the business aspect. And so, I think uh, having the conversations, especially with this season that we're going to plan to do, I think... A, the guests are going to be next level, right? Mm-hmm. They're going to be next level guests. It's going to be a different vibe. Um, we're going to relate to the guests in a whole different way because we're actually in deep with what we're doing, respectively. And the fact that me and you are splitting between you focusing on health and me focusing on life and business, I think it gives us, our audience more of a structure in terms of what they can expect uh, on a week-to-week basis. So I think for me... Uh, just based on my schedule and what's going on, I think that, um, you know, adding bi-weekly videos uh, and conversations on, on the platforms, on YouTube and whatnot, I think that would be my, um, where I'm going to head. And I think with you, um, what do you, what are you thinking in terms of the conversations? Are you going to be doing weekly conversations or? Oh man, you know me, as much as we could pump the gas and have as much conversations as possible, that's a plan. And I'm just, I, I can't help but think here how, It's funny how when we thought this was going to end, we were at a crossroads, especially right around the time in the pandemic when, sure enough, we had to really slow down the number of people we were seeing. And just in general, we reevaluated our lives. We both got laid off at the time. And 
both you and me just recognized how are we going to keep second floor alive when you know you're going the film and video route and I'm going the fitness route and we couldn't find a way to bring it together. But now when I hear you speak, Cassius, I'm beginning to think how much, especially with where I'm at with my fitness journey and with what I'm doing, servicing other clients, letting them know that it's all encompassing. When someone listens to us, they're going to hear everything about how they need to optimize their life. And even if, especially entrepreneurs or someone who wants to start their own business, they get to see what that looks like on that end of things, right? How to improve your business, how to actually have tangible advice to improve your life. But then on my side, it's okay. Well, guess what? If you want to live a good life and you want to be happy and you want to get excited, wake up in the morning, you better look good while you do it. Yeah. You know, you better get, get your reps in. Yeah. You better go serve yourself in the gym or do some sort of physical activity. Well, the beautiful thing is, is that you can't have the business side of things and the, and the life without having health. Everything kind of revolves around health. I think step one in anyone's journey is having, being healthy in some way, shape or form, have mentally, physically, spiritually. And then when you're running around doing, uh, you know, everything to do with life and then your business, that's just a secondary piece. So I think now the second floor has such a beautiful direction to it because we're, we're a lot more clear about what we're going to provide uh, to the people that are watching. Damn. Dude, if people aren't excited hearing that right now because the fact that we just got this conversation on tape is sick. Yeah. So you know what? People can tune in and see your videos, see what you're able to create on YouTube. That's what you're going to push. I'll go hard on the audio. Let me focus on everything podcast related and let's do this thing, bro. Let's elevate. Let's get it, man. And the last but not least, I feel like we've got how to thrive in life and business. We've got how to survive in health and, and fitness. fitness and then what's that one thing we're missing keep the good vibes going baby let's get it season two see you there baby let's do this thing bye